Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. For my next theme dungeon I wanted to do something really different to the last Chaos one. So, inspired by some of the things that have been building up in my bit box, I decided to build an alchemist laboratory. Moving on to room number one, and this would become a crystal experiment chamber. Here's the pieces of XPS foam that became the foundation of this layout. And the first component was made primarily of this small jewellery piece that I found. I got a thin piece of XPS foam, put a washer which I made look rusty on top with a bead, added a gem and then stuck the orb over the top. Using the black plastic scrap, the end of a glue nozzle and a little piece of wire I attached all of the elements onto a base and along with a large crystal bead made it look like this machine was drawing energy from a large crystal. Next I took one of these jewellery pieces and filled it up with some green glass rocks. Just before it reached the top I dropped a tiny bit of Mod Podge Dimensional Magic in so that it would dry clear but hold the rocks in place so that when I turned it upside down they wouldn't fall out through the hole at the bottom. Next using the pink plastic scrap, the glass marble and one of the offcuts from electrical wire I made this. You can see I've added a couple of shapes to the large piece of plastic just to break up the form a little bit, uh, wrap some flexible wire around the outside and made it look like it's attached to the orb using a piece cut off the end of an old glue nozzle. So I'd already cut this shape into the base and lined it up with the centre of one of the squares on top by pressing a hole through the top to make sure it was in line. Having already stuck the container with the green crystals on a piece of XPS foam with a hole in the bottom I then was able to attach it directly over the light. So here's some different shots including these elements from different angles and I'm pretty pleased with the way that the uh, light is diffused into a slight green and then that reflects differently through the different glass and crystal elements that are in the same room. This time with a bigger piece of clear plastic in the shape of a blank Christmas bauble that split into two sides, I decided to build a magic generator. Here's what it looked like. Having made a basic 4x4 room using XPS foam, I then placed the large dome where I wanted it to go, marked around it and then cut it out and into form using a hot wire stick. The inner hemisphere is made out of EPS foam and I made sure not to cut that area out but instead leave it flat so that it would sit flush later on. To the EPS foam I added these little smaller hemispheres and painted it with a rust effect. Once the two hemispheres were placed down, I used some really flexible foam board foam to cut out a thin strip which I then marked as brickwork and painted and wrapped around the outer shell. As you can probably tell, some of the painting of the tiles isn't quite finished yet. I've still got a couple of coats to go and then a highlight, but I'm sure you can use your imagination for that. <laughs> 